And moving on, Kenyan exports to the Netherlands have more than doubled over the past 10 years to stand at some 70 billion shillings. But Nairobi is diversifying products to key export markets among them that country. Now, with the change from air freight to sea freight, the port of Mombasa and the port of Rotterdam continue to gain traction as the two countries seek to enhance decarbonization. But what happens exactly at the port of Rotterdam once they ship docks? And what are the products that Kenya is seeking to increase exports as the two countries celebrate 60 years of bilateral relations? KTN's Daniel Kariki toured up the, the port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands and has more. Various ships are seeking to dock at the port of Rotterdam, the Netherlands. This evergreen ship, one of the biggest in the world, has just arrived. Aboard are large containers transporting various products. There are thousands of ships docked here. At this port, that is 41 kilometers in length. Ships from Mombasa in Kenya regularly arrive here to discharge their contents bound for various European markets. Despite its size, the port is expanding further in order to handle even more goods as businesses shift from carbon-intensive air cargo to the less impactful and friendlier to the environment sea freight. Look at the operation and, and study the market, the developments, and respond to that. Uh, really, you can plan forward. And already I've seen that from uh, the port of Mombasa, from port operators to go to also inviting private companies to, to have the operation to bring in that expertise. I think it's, it's very sensible good. Most of the products imported to the country, especially from Africa, include flowers and fruits such as oranges, grapes, avocado and apples. In 2023, an increased amount of cargo arrived from Kenya, including 4,000 tons of avocado, 5,000 tons of roses, 4,000 of other fresh cut flowers, and 4,200 tons of indoor plants. Kenya exports a lot of fresh produce, especially cut flowers, fruits and vegetables. And also the port of Rotterdam has a long history of handling perishable products. It's also going to develop further as uh, other countries around us uh, will start eating more and more avocados. Netherlands is now the second largest destination of Kenyan exports in the world and the largest in Europe with over 300 million euros, approximately 47 billion shillings worth of flowers and 46.2 million euros that's approximately 7 billion shillings worth of avocados. According to Port of Rotterdam officials, Kenyan roses, avocados and mangoes are now a common feature on the shelves of Dutch supermarkets, signaling the strong trade ties between the Netherlands and Kenya. The uh, providing of the, uh, the infrastructure and the structure of the port so that companies that are operating the port and companies that are using the port can work as efficient as possible. The Netherlands plans to strengthen trade relations with Kenya by improving cool chain logistics through sea freight. Daniel Karyuki, KTN News in the Netherlands. Interesting story right there. Now moving on, the Kenya Power Company has today launched the Kenya Power Foundation.